think about leadership positions in our organizations, we have to look at it from both the organizational perspective, what is the organization doing to create the space for individuals to both self-identify, for the organization to identify individuals, and to support them in their journey to leadership. A first step is understanding that there is a need for more minorities in leadership positions across the full spectrum, and that minorities want to lead. So I think all too often when people think of uh, expanding diversity and the participation of groups that are marginalized, they have a limited range of what they think they can do. When I think about developing uh, leaders, when I think about developing future professionals, uh, role models are critically important. Individuals who say, this is possible. I can see myself doing this. So it's the individuals believing that it's possible, that there's path, there's other people who've gone down their path. I will have supports if I go down this path. Uh, there are individuals who recognize the challenges I have and some of those unique challenges for minorities as you try to move forward are these expectations that uh, oftentimes you have to be better than others, expectations that when I move into these spaces I have to make other people feel comfortable with my difference, expectations that if I lead or move into leadership positions I have to leave part of who I am behind. Part of the reason why you want diversity is because the diversity enables the organization to achieve its mission better. So in having me in your organization as a minority physician that can serve a minority community, that's good. In having me in that organization such that I help the organization better serve that community is even better. It's not just my obligation, it's the obligation of the organization. My name is Joan Reed. I'm Dean for Diversity and Community Partnership at Harvard Medical School and Professor of Medicine.